This video is sponsored by Brilliance. Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. We're given an orange rectangle and a black square. And it wants to know what is the shaded area. We're also given that this intersection point bisects the base of the square. If you want to try it on your own, pause it right now because I'm going to solve it in three, two, one. I definitely want to solve this the longer way, but let's see if there's a cheat we can somehow apply. Let's look at the extreme cases. This point is locked in right here and this can be brought up Let's pivot it like this. And in this extreme case, I don't see a shortcut. Let's rotate it the other direction. Now this we can definitely use. The rectangle is now half of the full square. So if the top of the rectangle is four, this base has to be four. And then we know this distance is equal to this distance, so it's also four. And that makes the entire base of the square equal to eight. And then since it's a square, the height is also equal to eight. Now that we know the base and the height of this square are eight, we know the area is equal to 64. And then the area of this rectangle is going to be exactly half, so it's equal to 32. And now we have the answer to our question. Let's put a box around it. So if you're taking a test where you didn't have to show your work, this is probably the best way to solve it. But now I'm thinking we should do it the long way, the general case. Let's call the height of the rectangle x. And then the base of the rectangle is the same thing as the top, so it's also 4. And now we can write a formula for the area of this rectangle. It's going to be 4 times x. And this also looks important. Let's put a box around it. So now let's solve for x, and hopefully this ends up equaling this. For the first step, let's construct this line perpendicular to the base, or parallel to this side. And now we've created a right triangle right here. And we have another right triangle right here. This is a right angle because it's a corner of a square. And then this right here will also be a right angle. I'm pretty sure that this right triangle is similar to this right triangle. But let's see if we can demonstrate that. Let's call this upper angle A degrees and this one B degrees. Since this is a triangle, we know that 180 degrees minus B B degrees minus 90 degrees will equal A degrees. Well, same thing's going to happen down here. But to get this last angle, we can do 180 degrees minus B degrees minus 90 degrees, and that makes this A degrees. And then for the exact same reason, since this is A degrees, this angle up here has to be B degrees. And now since these two triangles have all their angles congruent, we know they're similar. Let's label this distance to this point here y. And that would make the entire base 2y, and the height would also be 2y. Now let's focus on the two triangles. Let's copy this one down and scoot it over, and let's copy this one down and rotate it. Since these two triangles are similar, we can write a proportion. We can do hypotenuse over bottom equals hypotenuse over bottom. It'd be 4 over y equals x over 2y. And now from here, I don't really like fractions, so let's get rid of these denominators. We can multiply both sides of the equation by 2y. On the right-hand side, these two 2y's two are going to cancel each other out. So we're left with x. And on the left-hand side, this y and this y will cancel each other out. And then we're left with 2 times 4, which is equal to 8. And now we've solved for x. x equals 8. Let's plug it into the formula we created earlier. In the place of this x, let's plug in 8. And 4 times 8 is 32. And that matches what we came up with earlier. So for this problem, either method works. How exciting. I really like this problem. It uses logic, the formula for areas, similar figures, proportions, cross-multiplying, solving for the variable, has all the fun things. If you want to fine-tune these or many other skills, Brilliant has you covered. Brilliant has thousands of lessons in math, data analysis, programming, and AI. And all of them are interactive, which is the best way to learn. I really enjoy the way Brilliant has the lessons set up. And I also enjoy the emails I get. Occasionally when there's a new course or some new fun problem, I'll get an email about it. For example, a couple days ago they sent me an email about this problem right here. I love that it. it's a cool problem. I haven't seen anything exactly like it before. What you're doing is this is going to go on forever and it wants to know what is the total length of the zigzagging black line. I ended up solving it one way doing two different series, one for the horizontal distances and one for the vertical distances, and I ended up getting the correct answer. And then when I went to Brilliant to check my answer and looked at how they solved it, they did it a totally different way. They recognized that this triangle is similar to this triangle and they set up a proportion. It was such a clever way to do it and distinctly different than my method. I really enjoyed it. Needless to say, it was one of my favorite emails I've ever gotten. If you want to try Brilliant for free, visit brilliant.org slash antimath or scan the QR code on the screen. Or you can click on the link in the description. You can also get 20% off an annual premium subscription. How exciting.